The March concert, Gustav in America, is reflecting aspects of Gustav's work with American composers and his time in America. Gustav, as we know, was, was born in Switzerland and had an international career, but when he came to America, uh, his career took off. He, he studied at Tanglewood and he worked with great composers there, Aaron Copland, Leonard Bernstein, and both of them are going to be on this program. When I came to this country, of course, I was overwhelmed with learning about American music. And when I came to Tanglewood, where I did study first, there were new compositions, there were new composers I never heard of, and very good composers, and uh, I suddenly felt very excited about being here. We start with Copland's Suite from Rodeo, and it's a fun piece. Copeland was my, really a mentor to me, and he was so positive. You could talk to him, and he would give his advice freely. Uh, his, he was a real, uh, a real superb person all the way. It was in America and in Hollywood that music for movies really was developed. And so we're showing, in a way, one aspect of American music. We're presenting Michael Ludwig, violinist, who's a concertmaster of the Buffalo Philharmonic. And Michael is coming down from Buffalo to perform the Chacon. It's a wonderful, exciting, inspiring piece that is derived from the music written for the movie, in the Red Violin, by American composer John Corigliano. Composers are really very much alive in the United States. It's, uh, it's, it's incredible, I mean, how much new music is created. It's great to have an opportunity to, to meet those people, those, those composers, and then find out how they click and where they will go, what the future will bring to them. I'm incredibly grateful to the Bridgeport Symphony and to Gustav for giving me this opportunity um, and uh, for continuing a relationship that uh, has been very, very important to me throughout my professional and creative life. He has been asking me over the years, you know, we have a concert coming up, do you have something? And so each one of these pieces has a very American spirit about it. When you listen to Copeland's music, just the voicings of the chords um, always have a sense of spaciousness about it. And anybody who comes from outside America and hears that music says, oh, it's American because it's like the plains or it's like the mountains. And I would hope that my piece would have a certain sense of sky and water. The program ends with Leonard Bernstein's symphonic dances from West Side Story. And the symphonic dances are Bernstein's effort to create the greatest hits for orchestra. And I think it's the, the perfect amalgamation, it's the perfect representation of what American music is all about. Because America is this great melting pot, and this piece, in a way, is a melting pot. When I heard the West Side Story, actually it was the first musical I heard in America. It was 1958 and uh, I was very impressed and he orchestrated it in a very, very rich way because in, on Broadway you can't use a large orchestra, but this is a large orchestra in the West Side Story and it sounds like, like Hollywood uh, at its best.